A nice teacher. She is a teacher. She teaches third graders. She says good morning every day. She asks her students how they are doing. The students love her. She is good at her job. She does not get a lot of money. Teachers should get more money. They work so hard. A pencil for everything. She has a pencil. It is four inches long. It is shiny and pink. It has an eraser on one end. It even has her name on it. She uses her pencil for everything. She uses it to write letters. She uses it to do her homework. She uses it on her tests. A surprise party. It is Lily's birthday. She gets out of bed. Nobody says anything to her. Her mom takes her to school. Her friends do not say anything. The teacher does not say anything. Lily is sad. Lily walks home alone. She opens the door. Her friends and family are holding a cake. They say, surprise Lily. A warm jacket. She has a warm jacket. It is red. It is shiny on the outside. It is fuzzy on the inside. It is not too tight. It is not too loose. It has two big pockets on the side. She likes to put snacks inside. The zipper is colorful. There is a front pocket. She puts two pens inside. A white dog. She has a dog. It is white. It has short legs. It has pointy ears. It runs very fast. She plays with the dog. She throws a toy across the room. She tells the dog to go get it. The dog runs. She watches it. The dog runs back to her. The toy is in the dog's mouth. An expensive wallet. She works hard for her money. She works 40 hours a week. She wants to treat herself to something nice. She decides to go shopping. She goes into her favorite store. There are a lot of nice things. Everything is very expensive. She sees a wallet she likes. It costs $50. She thinks about getting it. She ends up buying it. Arts and Crafts Mrs. Yu was working on arts and crafts with her kids at school. The children wanted to make something. They were very excited. Mrs. Yu had a lot of paper and supplies. The children wondered what they were going to make. Mrs. Yu announced they were going to make animal masks. She passed out the paper. Everyone began coloring and cutting. The fun began. Some made bunny masks. Some made lion masks. All of them had fun. When they were done, they all put their masks on. After having a lot of fun, the kids cleaned up their mess. It was a very fun day for everyone. Bad manners. She has bad manners. She never shows any respect. Her mother buys her a present. She does not say thank you. Her grandparents come to her house. She asks them to leave. Her classmate has something she wants. She steals it. Her dad asks her for a favor. She does not do it. Bad moviegoer. He goes to the movie theater. He sits down. He puts his feet up. He looks around. He eats his popcorn loudly. He uses his phone. He calls someone. He is talking loudly. He bothers everyone. The other moviegoers are mad. They tell him to get out. Being careless. Two brothers are bored. They play catch with each other inside the house. The older brother throws the ball to the younger brother. He catches it. He throws it back. The ball hits the window. The window breaks. Their mom hears the loud sound. She is mad. She takes the ball away. Birthday Celebration Barb was celebrating her birthday today. She was turning seven years old. All her friends were coming. Her relatives were also coming. 
She was going to see her cousins, uncles, and aunts. Even her neighbor was coming. Her parents got her cake with a horse on it. Horses were her favorite animal. Her dad spent all day decorating their house. There were balloons, banners, and streamers. She was so happy when she saw the decorations and everyone. This was her best birthday ever. She had a jumper for her and her friends to play with. She also had party gifts. Barb got a lot of presents. She thanked everyone for coming. She hugged her parents. Breaking up. She does not like her boyfriend. He is lazy. He never does anything for her. He does not have a job. He does not go to school. He just watches TV and plays video games. She wants to break up with him. She does not want to hurt his feelings. She plans out what she is going to say. Changing channels. She sits on the couch. She grabs the remote control. She turns on the TV. She sees the news. She does not feel like watching the news. She goes to the next channel. It is the kid's channel. She changes the channel again. Mean Girls is playing. It is her favorite movie. Chili Sauce Lover. He eats noodles. It is plain. He adds chili sauce. He tries the noodles. It tastes a lot better. He starts to put chili sauce in everything. He puts chili sauce on french fries. He puts chili sauce in soup. He puts chili sauce on egg rolls. He even puts chili sauce on rice. Chores. He is playing video games. Mom gets mad. She thinks he is lazy. She gives him a list of chores. He frowns. He looks at the list. He has to clean the floors. Then, he has to wash the dishes. Finally, he has to feed the dog. He starts doing his chores. Ear piercings. He wants to pierce his ears. His mom does not want him to. She thinks boys should not have earrings. He tells his mom that it looks good. He asks his friends what they think. Some friends say he should do it. Others say it would look terrible. He thinks about getting a fake earring. Fake tattoo. Juliana loves tattoos. She thinks they look really cool. She wants a lot of tattoos. She is scared of needles though. She gets fake tattoos. One of them is an elephant. She puts the elephant tattoo on her arm. They do not look as nice as real ones. Frying tofu. He slices up tofu in ten pieces. He puts the pan on the stove. He turns on the stove. He puts oil in the pan. He puts the tofu in the pan. He waits for the tofu to turn brown. He flips over the tofu. Now the other side is frying. He waits for the tofu to turn brown again. He turns off the stove. Getting ready to sleep. Sarah has to do certain things before she sleeps. She has to light up candles. The smell helps her sleep better. She has to change into her pajamas. Pajamas are more comfortable. She has to read a story for 10 minutes. Reading makes her sleepy. After all that, she can sleep. Gum below the desk. She chews gum in class. The teacher gets mad. Mr. Hill tells her that she has detention during recess. She asks him what she has to do. He says she has to take the gum off the desk. He tells her to look under the desk. There is so much gum. She is grossed out. Halloween is fun. It is Halloween. Halloween is the time when people dress up. Young people like to dress up. Old people just wear regular clothes. Children like to go trick-or-treating. They go to a house. They ring the doorbell. They say trick or treat. They get candy. They go to another house. 
He does not eat meat. He is a vegetarian. He does not eat meat. He believes that animals should not be killed. It is hard for him to go out with people. Most people like eating meat. He tells his parents to become vegetarians. They laugh at him. They can't give up meat. He forgets to bring a jacket. He is in a rush. He puts on a t-shirt and shorts. He leaves his house. He drives to work. It is cold at his workplace. He wants a jacket. He tries to turn on the heater. His co-workers get mad. He asks his friend if he has a jacket. His friend does not. He makes sandcastles. It is spring. It is nice and sunny at the beach. The sun is shining. There is a nice breeze. People are swimming in the water. People are tanning under the sun. Sam is making a sandcastle. No one else is making a sandcastle. He can use all the sand he wants. He can make his castle huge. He makes tea. He pours water in a pot. He puts the pot on the stove. He turns up the heat. He waits for five minutes. The water is boiling hot. He pours the water into a mug. He puts a tea packet inside. The liquid turns green. He puts some honey inside. He mixes it with a spoon. His computer crashes. He is playing a game on his computer. He gets a glass of water from the kitchen. He puts it on his desk. He accidentally knocks down the glass. The water spills all over his keyboard. His computer screen turns black. He tries to turn his computer back on. It did not work. His job application. He wants to work at a shoe store. He prints out his job application. There are three sheets of paper. He goes to the shoe store. He hands the sheets to the manager. The manager tells him to staple the sheets. He does not have a stapler. He finds a paper clip on the floor. He uses it. Loving dance. She loves to dance. She dances on her school's team. She dances after school. She loves to dance in her room. She loves to dance in the kitchen. She even loves to dance in the bathroom. Anyone can see that she is passionate. People say she is the best dancer in the world. Making a sandwich. She is hungry. She opens the refrigerator. She takes out bread, ham, lettuce, and cheese. She also takes out mayonnaise. She puts two slices of bread in the toaster. She waits for it to be heated. She puts mayonnaise on one slice. She puts ham, lettuce, and cheese on it. She puts the other bread on top. Performing for money. He is homeless, but he can sing well. He takes off his cap. He puts it on the floor. He starts singing. People like his voice. They stop and listen. People put money in the cap. He thanks them. He sings for two hours. There is fifty dollars in his cap. Quitting his job. He works at a fast food restaurant. He hates his job. He flips burgers. He cuts potatoes. He pours soda in cups. He thinks doing these things is boring. He does not like talking to customers. His boss, Susan Wright, is mean. She always makes him work extra hours. He finally quits his job. Ready for basketball practice. He gets ready for basketball practice. He is the team captain. He wears a t-shirt and loose shorts. He wears basketball shoes. He fills up his water bottle. He puts it inside his gym bag. He also puts his basketball inside. He gets in his car. He drives to the gym. She eats lemons. She likes sour stuff. Lemons are sour. Lemons are yellow. She peels the skin off the lemon. 
She bites into the lemon. It tastes good. She spits out the seeds. The seeds are not good. Her mom says she is weird. Most people eat lemon with another food. She finds a job. She is 16 years old. She can get a job now. She wants to work at her favorite restaurant. She can get discounts if she works there. She calls them. She talks to the manager. The manager invites her for an interview. She tells him about herself. The manager says he will call her next week. She is a doctor. She is a doctor. She treats children. She takes care of them. She asks them what is wrong. She tells them everything is going to be okay. She gives them candy at the end. The children love her. She gives the prescription to the parents. She makes a speech. She has to make a speech about birds. She is nervous. She does not like talking in front of people. She does not want to mess up. She does not want people to make fun of her. She tells her teacher she is scared. The teacher tells her to relax. All the students are scared. She waits for the mail carrier. She stands outside the house. She looks to the left. She looks to the right. She waits for the mail carrier. A package from her mom is arriving. She sees the mail carrier. He is wearing a blue shirt. He waves hello. He gives her the package. She signs it. She runs into her house. She washes her face. She fills up a bowl with water. She pumps some liquid face wash onto her hand. She closes her eyes. She rubs the face wash all over her face. She puts her hands in the bowl of water. She splashes the water on her face. She does this until the water is all gone. She dries her face with a towel. Tag, you're it. Tag is a very fun game. George, Lisa, and Laura play tag every day. Lisa and Laura run around. George tries to chase them. He runs as fast as he can. He decides to find Lisa. She is a slow runner. He sees her running. He catches up to her. He taps her on the shoulder. He says to her, Tag, you're it. Taking care of his orange tree. He wants to grow an orange tree. He digs a small hole. He puts the seeds in it. He covers the seeds with soil. He waters it for a week. No oranges have grown. He asks his mom what he is doing wrong. She says, you have to be patient. He continues to water the tree for a month. He sees an orange start to grow. The first song. She sits in the car. Her dad turns on the radio. A song plays. She taps her feet. She sways her head. Her dad laughs at her. He likes the song too. The song is over. The radio plays a different song. She does not like the new song. She sits quietly. The lonely girl. She is lonely. She does everything alone. She watches TV by herself. She does not even like watching TV with her family. She even eats alone at restaurants. She is on her school's basketball team. She does not talk to the other players. She just plays the game. The pink one is popular. Donna decided to buy her two daughters water bottles. They were going to school soon. She bought a pink one and a blue one. She drove back home. Girls, I have something for you, her mom yelled. Sarah and Barbara ran to her. What is it? Sarah asked. She showed them the water bottles. They both grabbed the pink one. They started pulling it. I grabbed it first, Barbara said. No, I did. Sarah argued. The mom did not know what to do. She thought one of them would like the blue one. She could just flip a coin. One of them would still be mad though. 
Donna decided not to give the water bottle to any of them. The wrong color. He waits for his package. He is excited. He will finally get his t-shirt today. He waits outside his house. The mail carrier gives him the package. He opens it. The t-shirt is red. He ordered the blue one. He is upset. He calls the company. The manager apologizes. He will send the blue t-shirt for free. White shirt. He puts on his white shirt. His mom tells him to be careful. White shirts get dirty easily. He says okay. He eats a pizza. His brother accidentally pushes him. He drops his pizza on his shirt. He screams. He takes off the pizza. There is an orange triangle stain. Will you marry me? Tim gets down on one knee. He looks into Shirley's eyes. He asks, Will you marry me? Shirley cries. Shirley nods her head. Tim and Shirley hug. People around them clap. Tim and Shirley call all their friends and family. Tim's mom does not like Shirley. Tim does not care. A broken chair. Sally and her mom went shopping. They are looking for a chair. The mom sees a nice brown stool. It is of good quality. It will last forever. Sally thinks it is ugly though. She sees a pink plastic chair. She points at it. Mom, let's get that one. Her mom says no. Sally throws a fit. She knows she can get what she wants if she cries. She starts crying loudly. Other shoppers stare at Sally. Her mom gets embarrassed. She ends up buying the pink chair. At home, Sally sits on it. It quickly breaks. Sally is on the floor. She cries from the pain. A busy boy. The boy is always busy. He goes to school for eight hours. He has seven classes. They are all hard. He has a lot of homework. It takes him five hours to finish it. He also has piano practice. He spends two hours playing the piano. He only sleeps for four hours. He is tired. A cat and a ball of yarn. The boy tries to study for his quiz tomorrow. His cat keeps bothering him. It keeps pulling his leg. It keeps making noises. He gets a ball of yarn. He throws it across the room. The cat chases the ball of yarn. The cat catches the yarn. It plays with it. The boy can finally study. A kind stranger. She walks across the street. She has four boxes in her hand. They are very heavy. She falls down. She drops the boxes. A stranger helps her. He asks if she is okay. She nods her head. He picks up her boxes. He carries them to her car. She says thank you. A long wait. The roller coaster ride is fun and fast. The line is so long. John and his friends decide to wait. John tries to find ways to pass time. He taps his foot for ten minutes. Then, he plays games on his phone. Later, he tells his friends jokes. Two hours pass. The boys are still in line. A lot of people in line. They went to an amusement park. There are a lot of rides. Some are scary and some are for kids. There are a lot of food choices. There is cotton candy. There are corn dogs. There are so many people. It is Saturday. People are off work and school. There are lines for everything. A new shirt. Michael spills ketchup on his shirt. He goes to his closet. He picks out a clean shirt. It is blue. He takes off his dirty shirt. He puts his new shirt on. He puts the dirty shirt in the laundry machine. There are other dirty clothes inside. He puts detergent in the machine. He turns the machine on.